the judgment of a New York court against Donald Trump may have marked a new low in his checkered career. But the key question that's always asked about Donald Trump still remains tonight. Will it actually damage his chances of regaining the White House next year? And there are plenty of people who would say no, despite the fact that a woman writer said she was overwhelmed with joy after a civil trial found Trump had sexually abused her in 1996, although rejecting her claim that she had been raped. He is the first U.S. president to be found liable for sexual assault. She had kept the secret for nearly 30 years. Yesterday was probably the happiest day of my life. Touring the TV studios this morning ago. with her lawyer, E. Jean Carroll was feeling vindicated. Only this uh, verdict um, is for all women. That, this is not really about me. It's for every single woman. Arguing that Donald Trump has belatedly been held to account. It was this. Five foot three, wily female attorney, and this elderly 79 year old advice columnist who are finally holding Donald Trump liable. When that, when that jury said yes, we looked at each other and that was the moment. It was such a wonderful, overwhelming moment. The jury verdict yesterday not only awarded Carol nearly $5 million but also gives Trump's political opponents hope that his attempt to win back the presidency can be derailed. Trump himself was contemptuous about his accuser and the jury's judgment. I don't even know who this woman is. I have no idea who she is, where she came from. This is another scam. It's a political witch hunt. And somehow we're going to have to fight this stuff. We cannot let our country go into this abyss. It's morning again in America. And At the same Trump time, the Trump presidential campaign has been quick to distract and deflect with a new TV ad. Why would we ever accept the incompetence and weakness of Biden when we could have the freedom, security, and economic prosperity we enjoyed just three years ago? It is certainly encouraging for Trump's campaign that even now few Republicans are deserting him. Only his old internal foes breaking cover today. I hope the, uh, the jury of the American people uh, reach the same conclusion about Donald Trump. He just is not suited to be president of the United States. Look, she's a liar and she's a sick person, in my opinion, really sick. It remains an open question whether the jury verdict and his erratic video deposition in the case will fatally damage Trump's presidential bid. In just a few hours, he appears on this stage in New Hampshire to be questioned by voters. Even Trump accepts it's a risk, given yesterday's verdict. Could be a total disaster for all, including me. Let's see what happens tonight at 8 o'clock. His core supporters will stick by him until the very end. But to win the presidency again, he will need to convince some centrist and independent women voters. And that may now prove his greatest challenge. Robert Moore News at 10, Washington.